Hi everybody, Dean back again, and today I'm going to be fishing with the Spro RK Crawler Crankbait. Now this is a fish that I've caught some huge fish on in the springtime, and it was designed for that very same thing, fishing on rocks in the springtime. So I thought, why not come out where these fish should be close to the same places, on the rocks, eating crawfish, I know they're eating crawfish, and use this, this bait. I ought to be able to catch them. So I'll leave some information in the show notes section on what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Make sure to click the bell down below. Uh, that'll get you subscribed and YouTube will send out an update when I put some more videos out like this. Make some comments. I'd love to hear from you. And let's go see if we can catch some fish on the Spro RK Crawler in the fall. Right now I'm fishing the top of a hump. Uh, it, it tops out around six feet of water. There's no vegetation, no weeds on top at all. Um, the spro can, in my experience, go down to about 10 feet. I'm using 10 pound test and it'll go down to 10 feet. They say 13. I don't know that I've seen it hit 13. Um, I may be 11, 11 or so. So what I'm doing is I'm fishing uh, just on what I would call the first break off the top of the six feet. So anywhere from eight to 10 feet of water. Uh, I'm making sure that the crankbait is hitting the bottom and you can feel it. I mean that crankbait, what, what it does, <clears throat> it's got a big wide wobble on it and that's why they like it in the springtime. And when it hits the bottom, it searches around like this. Um, and it's, it's just a great, great smallmouth catcher. Now we'll find out, I guess, if we don't catch any fish, then, then the fish want a tighter wobble for sure in the fall. But the water's 66 degrees still. Uh, it's been a cool, cool summer. I am pounding along the bottom right now. It's been a cool summer and um, so the water's gotten cold quickly. I mean, 66 for we're in the middle of September. It's pretty cold. The leaves are starting to change, but we'll see. Oh, that's a fish right there. Feels like a little one. Boy, oh yeah, that's a smallmouth. Definitely a smallmouth. When they're shaking their head like that, it's a smallmouth. I mean, when they're fighting, it's a small, little smallmouth. Oh, there he's got him on the back hook there. Let's swing him into the boat here. Little bitty smallmouth. Eating crawfish. He is hooked well. I mean, this hook is in there so good. I'm gonna have to use a pliers to get it out. And it's right in, just right in his front lip here. There, I think I got it. There we go. He's a little one, but right away, we got a fish right on the edge. RK Crawler, it's a great, great bait. It's also a heavy bait. Uh, it's great for casting. I think they're five eighths ounce or half ounce somewhere in there. They're great casting bait. Uh, there you go, fish number one. One of the great things about this bait is its weight. Right now we're heading into a, a fairly stiff breeze. It's not a gale force wind by any imagination. Oh, and if you want to see how the gale force winds have been affecting my life with Hurricane Irma recently, you can, uh, you can click right up there and I'll put a show card uh, about uh, what's been going on with Danielle and myself in the purchase of our new boat home. Anyway, uh, this bait is, 
it's a half ounce, I think, or five eighths ounce uh, bait. So it's pretty hefty for its size. So when you're casting into a breeze, and a lot of times you are because you just have better bow control when you're casting into the wind, um, you can get a little bit better cast, you backlash less. Boy, I thought that was a fish. I must have just bumped over a big rock. <clears throat> you backlash less, and, and uh, when you're casting, obviously with the wind, or there's no wind, you can make big, long casts. And that allows you to cover a lot of water, like on these humps when you're fishing over the top. Every once in a while, I'll, I'll throw this crankbait over the top of the hump as well as being on the side. And when you do that, you can cover sometimes half, if not three quarters of these humps with one cast. And that makes a big difference in being able to cover a lot of area uh, and get at different angles. Oh, there's another one. Oh, another bank runner, he just took off. Now that fish right there, it followed me. It followed me up to the boat. And I know that it followed me up to the boat because it hit me right, right at the boat. So I'm gonna pay attention to that. If it happens again, I'm gonna either vary my retrieve a little bit, maybe go a little slower, a little faster, maybe put some pauses in my retrieve. There we go. That's a better fish right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a good fish. Now that cast right there was up on top. And so I think that these fish have probably moved up on top here. Well, I mean the fish that the last two fish we caught were up on top. Runner that got away wasn't. Oh, here he comes. Oh, and he got off. Oh. <laughs> Oh, well, that's two that got off. That is unusual on these crankbaits. So anyway, that fish was up on top as well. I think they're up there and they're feeding on those crawfish. If that's a fish, that is a big fish. It's not though, that is a rock. And I just stuck myself in it. I thought I felt it move. That's why I didn't let up right away. All right, well. Well. There we go. The old snap trick worked. Oh, and a fish jumped on it right after I snapped it off. Nice. Nice, the old snap trick. Oh, and he got off again. Ah, man, we never, I never lose fish on this bait. What is going on? And one little tip to fishing with these guys with the RK crawler is it's a it's a medium diving crankbait, but that's a good bait to be throwing up in six feet of water. And you'll notice right right now my crankbait's in about six feet of water, and I can crank really slow because of the way that 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 bait is down there hunting on the bottom, like that. It allows me to slow down and it's banging into the rocks. I feel like that puts a couple more fish in the boat because you can slow down a little bit in the in the more shallow water and yet it's still it doesn't get hung up on the rocks down there there we go oh yeah that's a good fish that's a smallmouth oh yeah good smally good fish nice 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 oh yeah Oh, he's got it on the middle hook, I think. Now he's on the back hook. Put the spot lock on here. 
Oh yeah, good fish. We'll see if we can get down there. Oh yeah. Lip this guy. Oh yeah, he's he's hooked really, really well. Come here, fish. He's gonna hook me really well if I'm not careful. Right in his mouth here. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. The Spro RK Crawler. We're fishing with that Spro RK Crawler crankbait in the fall. And it's not just a spring bait. I think I've proven it to myself. I mean, this is a nice, nice fish. That's a good, that fish is four pounds, probably pretty easy right there. Oh man, I just hooked myself. I'm gonna get that out of there because I'm gonna weigh this guy. And these hooks are sharp. Yeah, he's not gonna come out anytime soon. All right, don't bite your, don't bite your line at home. You might see how bad my teeth are. Wow, look at that fish. That is an awesome fish. I'm gonna weigh him. He's probably three and a half. Big, big fat belly though. Good fish. All right, we're gonna put him on the scale. If we can get, get it up in there without hurting him. Boy, I'm slipping on his gill plate for some reason. All right, let's see what we got. Three and a half, three and three quarter. Three and three quarter. Good fish. One more shot of him. He deserves, she deserves, deserves to be famous. Let's let her go. Rainy wants to eat her. And away she goes. All right. I've still got a crankbait in my in my sleeve here. So I think this is a good shot or a good time to do a where are we fishing? Where are we fishing? I'm gonna back out here. And you can see as soon as that pops up, here's a very small hump with uh, deep water all around it. Our boat is right here. We caught that fish off of this point right here again it's kind of uh, uh the fish are on humps in the summertime they're out here right now they're moving up onto the top we're catching them out here off of the tops of these humps right now they're eating crawfish that fish ate a, he thought it was a crawfish and uh that's what we're doing in the fall in the springtime they'll be up here as well and that's why we wanted to see if we could replicate uh this pattern with the RK crawler which is stuck in my arm so I'm gonna go get this out of my arm and then we're gonna get back and we're gonna catch some more pigs like that one. Oh, look at that we did have a little fish on there <laughs> I couldn't feel them wiggling you so small <laughs> anyway I was saying I wouldn't be surprised if we catch a walleye in these same areas because we're fishing we're fishing on that, what I call the first break, a lot of casts that I'm making. Now the smallmouth that we've been catching are coming from the top of the, of this piece of structure. Uh, and the walleyes would be on that first break and they might be on the top, probably not when it's sunny. Look at this. I mean, this is, this is how aggressive these, these fish are. I and mean, look at the size of that guy. He's bleeding, I'm gonna get him back, versus that crankbait. But he just needed to kill that crankbait. Well, there you have it. The RK Crawler, the Spro RK Crawler by Mike LeClelland in the fall on the rocks. Uh, I think we've proven that the smallmouth, they can be caught this way uh, up, up in the rocks between eight and 10 feet, six and 10 feet of water on the, uh, on the Spro RK Crawler. I'm gonna put some more info about this thing down in the show notes. Um, if you're thinking about buying one and you can do me a favor, there's some links down there. If you click on those links and you buy one uh, from those links, uh, I get a couple of pennies from that and that, that goes a long way and I'd sure appreciate that. Um, if not, you know, no big deal. Run out to the tackle store, get one of these things. It's a great bait. I've been catching a lot of fish on it. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave some notes below. Don't forget to subscribe 
And until next time, we'll see you on the water.